Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video here on my channel and yeah in today's video I want to show you guys how to buy SPS with Litecoin just inside the Splinterlands game and yeah guys so far I have around 550 SPS tokens but all of them I have gotten through the first 174 airdrops and yeah, I thought it would be a good idea now to buy some more SPS because the price looks pretty good in my opinion. Also, if we take a quick look at the chart, it seems like a pretty good time to stack up on some SPS. And yeah, that's what I want to show you guys in today's video. So to buy SPS, you will just have to go on the SPS page and then go here on get SPS. And you can decide to either buy your SPS tokens with Hive, Tron, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ether, EOS, Cardano, Ripple, Stellar or Tezos. And yeah, I choose Litecoin. So I will just select Litecoin. The minimum amount will be 1.016 um, Litecoin. So inside my Uphold account I have 1.6 Litecoin. So yeah, I'm going to buy SPS tokens for 1.6 Litecoin. So I will just select 1.6 Litecoin right here. And for that I'm going to get um, 1528 SPS tokens. So I will click here on buy SPS. And yeah, now they're giving me a Litecoin address where I will have to send my Litecoins to. And I have to send exactly 1.6 Litecoin. So now I'm going to copy the address, go back to my Uphold account and now select exactly 1.6 Litecoin. So I will have to send 1.603 Litecoin because the network fee is at 0.003 Litecoin. Now I'm going to preview my withdrawal. So just click here, confirm that I know that crypto investing is risky. And now I have to put in my Litecoin address, which I just copied. Put it in right here and just double check if it's correctly. All right, and now click on confirm and confirm my withdrawal. And now just do the two-step verification and click on continue. All right, perfect. Our withdrawal was successful. And now we have to go back to Splinterlands and click here on payment send. All right, guys, so this will typically take around five to 10 minutes or they say it can even take up to an hour. So I will get back to you guys once the step is done. My transaction has been confirmed and I hopefully have received my SPS token on my Splinterlands account. And yeah, guys, now it took around 50 minutes and now finally I received 1507 SPS tokens from Token Converter. So yeah, let's refresh the page and I should have a total of 2000 and a bit SPS. Awesome. So now I'm also going to stake all of my SPS tokens. I have now, so all of my 1507 tokens I want to have staked in the game. And yeah guys, that was actually all you need to do in order to buy the SPS tokens in Splinterlands with Litecoin. I think with all the other cryptocurrencies, it will be pretty similar. So if we choose Bitcoin, for example, if you would send 0.01 Bitcoin over to SPS, it will it will look the same. You will have to send exactly 0.01 Bitcoin to a crypto wallet. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this quick video on buying SPS tokens in Splinterland. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have already bought some SPS tokens or you just getting those um, daily airdrops and staking rewards. Please also don't forget to smash the like button for my YouTube algorithm. And yeah, hopefully, see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and bye.